Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I am a cruelty YouTuber that does a lot of makeup content and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And I think we just hop right into this. Hello, that's a cat. I want to find like a good intro, but I don't know how. I think this is going to annoy the crap out of me, so I just put my hair like that. Um, I just want to find a good intro for my channel, but like I don't know how to do it, so I'm trying some different things. I think it will change. Today, I'm going to do a get ready with me, as you've seen in the title, and I have not planned this super good like what I want to talk about, but I want to talk a little bit about one thing that I think you are sick and tired of, and that is like no buy slash no low buy. Okay, I'm just going to pry my eyes. And the eyeshadow palette that I'm planning on using today is Dreamy 2 by Nabla. Alice, one of my internet friends, she loved this palette and every time she talks about it in the comments I'm like I need to use it more. So I'm going to try to do a look today. I really like how this palette looks, but I don't know what to do when I see it. I think it throws me off that it's only like three typical matte shades and I want a little bit more, but I'm going to try to do something. I've kind of planned it a little bit, I think. We will just have to wait and see where this will take me or us. And I excuse my share, it sounds like I'm farting, but it's actually not me, it's the share. Do you hear it? Of course you do. I did edit a video today, earlier today, and it sounded like I farted, but it's not me. It's my share. So I will just put on this makeup and you just have to listen to me. And I will see where this will take us. So, I'm sorry if you're sick and tired about hearing me talking about low buys and no buys, but I am once again in a state where I like look at my makeup collection <laughs> and a part of me just want to puke all over it. I have talked about doing an eyeshadow palette collection for such a long time, but I haven't. And it's because of two reasons. One reason is that I want to buy like an extension arm to my tripod so it's I can film right from above um, because I don't have it. And when I filmed, like shop my stashes and things, it's not a good setup. <laughs> and I think, or I know, that the palette collection is going to be so long, so I really want to do it as easy as I can. But the other reason is because I don't want to know how many palettes I have. I don't want to see all the palettes I have. <laughs> because it... I'm not happy about it. And I don't know what to do. I guess that this will... I will feel something different in a couple of months because sometimes I just am like this so I feel like overwhelmed but it feels like I feel it more often now. But still I do keep on buying palettes. <laughs> I did have a no buy in the beginning of this year. I didn't bought any makeup. And I only bought refills on skincare and hair care for January, February and March. <laughs> and then it has just like went out hill. I don't know what's going on, but I can like sit in the sofa and just buy makeup that I don't know if I really want to. I don't know. And there's still some things that I'm planning on buying that I want. A part of me really, really do want them and another part of me do not want them at all. So yeah, I will <laughs> see what I will do. But I'm 
thinking about it, but at the same time, I don't know if I want to be like, okay, I'm having a no buy right now. I don't know if I want that, but like when I had my no buy, it didn't feel like that hard to not buy makeup in one way. And I really enjoyed exploring my collection, if you can say it like that. I, don't, I can't be able to sit like this the whole video. But I don't know what I will do. Right now I think it's three palettes that I'm waiting on. I bought two from Colourpop. I bought the Powerpuff Girls. I don't know if I really love the color story with it, but it was my father. So, where was I? Yeah, I have the Powerpuff palette on its way. I did watch Powerpuff when I was little and I really loved it, so that's the main reason why I bought it. And I also bought the Lush Life from Colourpop just because everybody seems to love it. And then I bought the Wilderness palette from Beauty Bay. I don't really know why, but I did it. And that's the palettes that I'm waiting for. And I don't think it's that much other makeup that I'm waiting for. I also bought a lip gloss from Beauty Bay from Lunar Beauty. But maybe when that is over I can finally do that freaking palette collection and also like see how many palettes I have. Even though I don't want to know. But I do want to know but I don't want to know. And another thing that I also have been thinking about, and this I can take, I'm gladly taking tips. I want to use my phone so much less. I'm using my phone kind of much. And I'm not super happy that I do it. Okay, I'm just going to try to find my glitter primer. And it's just like... I'm not using it too much or maybe maybe I do because I want to use it less but it's just that like I always feel the need to have my phone nearby and to always like know what's going on on my phone and that feeling I hate I really want to just leave it and today it is Saturday and I'm trying to not use the phone that much and I haven't but like I don't know it feels like like feels like like feels like what am I going to do if I'm not using my phone and it also feels like I always need to have sounds around me and I always like want a video in the background, a pod in the background or something. But I want to be better to not have my phone that much. But like, it's hard. Today I actually, we were out grocery shopping and then when we came home, I did lie in the bed and I read a book for, I don't know, one hour, one and a half hours, but also I think it's so hard, <laughs> like, I'm not trying to be big on either YouTube or on Instagram, but it feels like you have to be active to get new followers, and I think I just need to find a good balance it's the share again <laughs> I need to find like a good balance between 
having my phone sometimes during the day I don't want to like get rid of my <laughs> phone and not having a smartphone it's not that I'm saying but I just don't want to have the phone in my face all the time sometimes it feels like I'm a child and can't like put the phone down and um, I don't know if you feel the same way I have talked with some of my friends about this and they also have the same feelings like I can see it on the sofa and just scrolling from Instagram for like two hours during these two hours I could do something more productive <laughs> like filming a makeup video but I'm kind of bad at that and I want to be better at it so do you have any tips how to be less independent on your phone please uh, let me know I would get gladly take tips on it before me and my boyfriend we like put our phones because we usually don't eat in the kitchen <laughs> we usually eat in front of the TV because when we did work because now we are off work but when we go back to work we look at NCIS the time that we eat so it's like perfect to eat and look at NCIS <laughs> but then we usually like did put our phones in the kitchen and didn't use them for an hour and just like checking on TV talking to each other and I think I'm going to ask him if we can do that again. I guess that he will say yes, because I, he has kind of like the same feelings that I do, that he's on his phone. And just scrolling away when he could read a book or something instead. And also I'm now trying to plan my YouTube things a little bit more. <sighs> I don't know if I want to talk about this, but I think maybe it's good that I do. I think it if it was like two years ago, maybe one and a half years, I was so close to be <laughs> I don't know what it's called in English, like to burn myself out. I was so irritated when I come home from work, my stress, I was very sensitive to stress and I didn't have energy for anything. Um, it's much better now, um, the work is much better, I talked to my boss about it. So that is much better, but I still, still, still need to like I I am not like spontaneous but I want to plan things but I'm not a good planner does it make any sense I don't know but like I want to be better at planning things but I'm kind of shit of planning things but I will actually give this a, a really good try I think I just need to do it a couple of weeks to like get into it I'm telling myself that at least and I think that will take a lot of stress out of me and I think just everything okay <laughs> now I'm trying to talk and do other things at the same time I'm going to take away the fallouts take away a little bit of the eyeshadow primer and then I will continue with this I don't know what it is Okay, I don't know if you can hear the thunder, but the thunder is coming, I think. I have a lightning maps here, so I can see if it's close. So far, it's not that close, so I will keep continuing. I think it's going away. Um, I have taken this face primer. It's NYX High Glass Primer. I don't know if you can hear it, and I'm just going to take my foundation. So, I, I think I've talked about this more than once before. Where the hell have I put my... Sp oh. 
don't have my sponge. Oh, here it is. I've talked about this before that I want more energy and now, according to this map, not coming any closer, it's going away the thunder. <laughs> that I have like low motivation and low energy, but I think some of the problem is that I once are too much on my phone and also that I don't plan things. So I am going to try do like a really really good try now to start to plan because I really want to do more YouTube now when I have been on vacation okay it's coming closer to thunder okay I always look so <laughs> like the white balance when putting on foundation it looks crazy Yeah, I think like the stress would I have really felt now when I have been off work that sleeping more is really working out for me. I usually sleep around five hours, five and a half hours. And now when I've been off work it has been around seven hours and I really feel like a difference in my mood and my energy level <laughs> so I guess I should try to get a little bit more sleep but when you waking up like 5 a.m. or before 5 a.m. In the morning it is hard to go to bed that early so you can get so much sleep that you need but I think I will really try to do that when I go back to work I just have a few days I think when you see this video I'm already back at work I'm really going to try to be better to get more sleep because now I really have noticed how much of a difference this has made for me. And yeah, start to plan which videos I want to do. And then just do them. I usually come home before my boyfriend because I start earlier than him. So I usually coming home before him from work and then I have like a little over an hour before he comes home so I should be able to do film a video before he comes home and I really want to try to do that but that means that I can't be sitting on my phone because usually when I get home from work I sit on my phone until my boyfriends get home and then if it's nothing we need to do that day, like go grocery shopping or clean or something, I sit on my phone. And I do not want that and now it's more funder. This is going great. So that I really like want to do, but then I need to spend less time with my phone and more time on things that I really want to because honestly on my phone I'm not doing anything good <laughs> I'm just scrolling either from Instagram mostly from Instagram and sometimes I'm just checking videos on YouTube so I'm going to try to be less on my phone and more on YouTube, on camera. Do you know what? I don't know if I have anything more to talk about now. Is this usually how it ends up for me? Yes, it is. But yeah, I can show you a little bit 
I don't know if I want to show because I write like a child. I have a bullet planner or I'm at least trying. So I have start now. I have like a tracker on how I sleep, my mood and things like that. And then I've started to do this. So here I have all the days for a week and here I have my to-do list and this week's videos and next week's videos and here I write which videos I'm going to record so I am going to try this now and I like sometimes it feels like I don't want to be like okay I'm going to do this video it feels like I want to do just what I feel like but I not always feel like it so I think it will feel good for me like plan out which videos I am going to film when and of course if I don't want to feel the film the video that I have planned I can do something else but it's just that sometimes I want to film but I don't know what so it ends up with me not filming and sometimes it feels like I need to plan my videos better as well because there can be like videos that I want to do but that I need to think about like a ranking video I can just like sit down and rank it throughout the video because I need to think a little bit more and I want to be better at this as well so maybe I should have like filming days or planning days I'm thinking about it I haven't decided if it's something that I want to do but I think, do you know what? I don't know if the funder is, have you ever tested in, have you, do you know about the site? This is lightningmaps.org and you can use this, I think all over the world. It goes on the GPS. So it shows like where the funder hits, where the lightning hits. I think it's good. I used to be so afraid of thunder. I still am a little bit afraid of it, but it's much better than it was a couple of years ago. Then like, as soon as I heard the thunder, my body went into panic mood. Okay, I think I will fix my brows off cam and my under eyes as well. And then we can try to pick out a lip together maybe. So I can fix my eyebrows, my under eyes, mascara, and then take some lippies that I feel for. So yeah, I will fix that. So I actually think that I want to go with something a little bit more lighter on the lips. Not lighter, but not full coverage. I think I will take a Fantastic from LH Cosmetics. They changed the name all the damn time. I don't know if I should take cold red or bullseye this is a little bit warmer I think maybe bullseye let's watch them okay so this is cold red and this is bullseye and I think that bullseye will go good with this so I will take that one I like this chair is hate it okay and I will just dab this on I you starting to do this now with these and I don't want too much of a color and also I like more matte lips and these are kind of glossy but I think when I just step them on okay no I don't think this was good I don't like it I don't like it at this look I will take this way okay so what should I take instead I don't know, do I want a red, do I want a neutral, or do I want something more purple? 
this is the thing that I like never show <laughs> because this is like this every time I'm going to use a lipstick. I just don't know what to wear. Taking a lipstick to a look except for when I'm doing like a green look because then I always want the red. But other than that I'm like I don't know what to take. It feels like I want something. It feels like I want to take a lipstick. I think this will go good. This is Rome from Lethal. Maybe not. Maybe I just have to go with this. Yeah, it's a kind of nude lip. It will. It will do. <laughs> so I used the Dreamy 2 palette and I don't know what it is with this palette. I like this look but I don't know if I'm in love with it. I did use Deja Vu in my crease and then Offline and Mirabili Mirabilia? <laughs> the shimmer one and then I took Lucid Dream in my inner corners. And I don't know if the thing that bothers me with this one, like Offline, d does it look purple in here? No it does not. Does it look purple on my eyes? Yeah. Does and if I swatch it, it's like a dark purple. And I don't know if that is what puts me off with this palette. It might be that I don't know which shade it's going to end up on my eyes. And also that I don't know what to really do with it. I really like the color story. I think like the vibe of the palette is really good, but it's just that I don't know. But I will try to use this more. I will really try. I like the look, but I'm not in love with it. See, I guess that is all for this Get Ready With Me. And uh, as I have said uh, one million times in this video, if you have any tips on how to not be so into your phone, please let me know. Today I'm just trying to leave it in another room. And I don't know my screen time, now it's a quarter to eight. And my screen time today has been two hours. So I guess that is kind of good. One hour on Instagram, 42 minutes on interwebs and seven minutes on where you can look at houses that are for sale. Yes, I guess that is good. If you have any tips, I'm happy to take them. And I hope that you have liked this video. And uh, yeah, I don't think it's anything more I want to say. I... Do you want like an update on my planning? No, you don't want that. Why would you want that? But yeah, I will try to plan a little bit more with my YouTube. And I really hope that I will be able to post more and now my battery is soon empty so I think it's time for me to stop talking. But yeah, I really hope you liked this video and I hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye!